Well, hello everyone, here with another LEGO Harry Potter Summer 2023 review, and this one's on Diagon Alley, Weasley's Wizard Wheezes, of course. So on the front of the box here, we which has the LEGO Harry Potter logos, Wizarding World logo, and same border that we've been seeing since 2021, of course. You can see a picture of the whole set in different parts of Diagon Alley, of course. And all the mini figs included down below. And recommended ages is eight and up. Set number seven six four two two. It has eight hundred thirty nine thirty four pieces. And flip to the back. Oh, well. On the back side, we would see a different view of the set, in interior views of the set, and also a couple of the spaces. Or a couple of pictures of, it, of the minifigs and that, and, and lego.com, and that. And now, onto the instruction booklet. Which, same picture as, or I mean, different picture. And of course, that odd rendering we've been seeing since last year. And see about how, they're, how Lego's transitioning to paper bags, add for the Lego Builder app. Then on the back, how to win on the online survey. <coughs> and then all the pieces that come with the set. And then out of all the of how all the Hogwarts sets that come together from 2021 to 2023. And then the last building steps. So now on to the mini fig selection. The first of which we have uh, Ron Weasley here, which with kind of nice torso printing and hairpiece, same as it's been for quite a few times, of course, and of course wielding that. Uh, one piece that we've been seeing since 2018 and of course face print uh, quite good suiting to him but yeah and next to which Ginny you see her piece of which kind of the same as it's been from a collectible minifig series and some others and of course torso printing quite good for that and also good face printing which kind of similar to what we've seen in some other themes and next to which are Fred and George Weasley, which with kind of near identical uh, torso printings, but of course in different color colors, of course, and of course different face prints, but same hair piece on both of them, of course. <coughs> so flipping out all the Weasleys as well. Well, we would have have his lavender brown. Which is kind of nice uh, front torso printing, and which is kind of like a zipped up jacket, of course. Which, he, and of course, this would, or well, with these next few figs, uh, torso printings that you can definitely use in some of your like custom cities and or custom Lego cities and stuff. But however, the face printing and quite good, and then oh, whoops. And next to which we have our Ramalinda Van, or Vane, yeah. It was also good torso printing and hairpiece, which kind of suiting to her a bit, but yeah. And kind of interesting skin tone for her face and hands. And correct me, and in the comments, correct me if this is like all new or if it's uh, been used with some other themes, of course. But yeah. And last of which we have a owl post worker, of which with a quite nice uh, purple torso printing, and, and also that hair piece of which quite good to see there, and quite nice face printing as well. But yeah, and our 
put on the back side to reach me as I can see. All of which do have some back torso printing and very few of which do cover with some double side faces. Well, except for Owl Post Worker. But although all these double side faces are also kind of suiting to them, and also and overall a quite good minifig selection, I don't see what else there could have been, but yeah. So I guess that was about it with the speed big selection here. So on to the first one of the two builds, which is the Owl Post Office set, or Owl Post Office building. Which, as you can see, in this exterior view, you can kind of see about how it's on a corner plate here. Since of course kind of tend to be like in the corner of something. And if you look on the sides, do have a couple technic pins like you'd expect from a modular building. And on the other side, sort of the same. And so now, as for this exterior part of which, as you can see. See, comprised of mostly like ridge bricks and sand blue. So plain sand blue and dark blue. I wish good to see here. Um, one side which do have a city post off, or I mean, yeah, city post or city uh, what's it called mailbox piece. Yeah, which does kind of open, pro which does function properly like most other ones. Take the letter piece and slide through like so. Now also do have a rounded tile that says Owl Post on it, and also the traditional door piece which of course opens and closes like so. And also do get a couple of plates uh, right here on snot bricks, which represented being boarded out or something. And well above do have a couple of cone pieces representing uh, lanterns and also the recent uh, owl piece that we've been seeing since like 2020 okay, but in plain gold obviously to represent a owl statue to it and then further above do you have a lot of these like odd uh, panel kind of pieces but with stickers on them of course and also a few uh, tan jumpers uh, which to place your owl onto of course and on this one side, which does have a sign that, or a large tile that has a sticker saying Owl Post on it. But yeah. And then, of course, have a couple jagged slopes representing the roof parts. And right above, just a couple of larger jagged slopes and a larger one as well. And classic antenna piece, of course. And then for the back side, which. How it all got to work is just by being on a swivel plate piece. And so now you wonder what this uh, red window piece and these jagged slopes are for. Well, it's for one of the main features of it. So it'll take the letter piece and then just drop it on downwards. So it kind of goes diagonally. Oh, which kind of works out, but you know, but it still kind of does. Yeah. If you can kind of tell for this interior space, you see it's just plates with another letter piece on it to represent a stack of letters. And let me zoom in. And you can see that the walls were just are just these two large uh, panel pieces, but in sand blue. Nice to see here. But also do you got one that has a large sticker that is supposed to be like with a lot of letters kind of on it, a shelf with letters on it. But unfortunately, that it's a sticker. But whatever. And 
And so now that I've got it with our post section. And now on to the main section. Weasley's Wizard Wheezes, of course. Which, as you can see from first glance, looks just about like the one that was included in the 2020 Diagon Alley set. But, kind of, but of course, kind of a downscale to that. But yeah. Which, on the exterior here, as you can see. Comprised of mostly uh, white lavender and orange, of course. And also, like that version, is kind of in a sideways kind of shaping. And of course, like the other section, and also the, and like most modulars, have a couple of pins coming out for that. Which, obviously have a door piece in orange and also a lot of these corner window pieces in orange as well. Nice to see here. And then further up we get one of two of these little uh, sign lantern pieces but with, with that are all corner plates and also with dark purple. Kind of interesting to see there. And Right above which we which do have a, a two by two by two brick that has a sticker that says a skiving snack box on it, of course. And also, yeah. But also this set comes with a whole lot of stickers to that. Like I do have disastrous delights and best in jestings. So, and then one and of course do you have Masterpieces of Modern Magic. And as for the like center section does have a large man kind of standing right through it. And all you can kind of see okay, through the window, but however that in which is probably one of the only printed pieces in this set, of course. And of course, does have the top hat shown above and and of course you can pose it however you want to. And of course, on how the face is a sticker instead of being brick built, like the 2020 version, but at least, but of course this is supposed to be like a lower budgeted version, but yeah. And on the other side, which is sort of the same stuff going on, but also another one that says shenanigans for all and uh, petrifying products. Oh, whoops petrifying products above, of course. And also you get one of those recent uh, vine-like pieces like we've seen in the uh, Fluffy Encounter set a couple years ago, but used as like part of the sign of it. And of course to have this sign made of a, a fencing piece, or fence piece, so, or rather a car rail piece, but as a thing holding planks together, but yeah. And so now as I turn it over, and here we have the, the interior spot, which from first glance also looks quite like the, or kind of close to the 2020 Diagon Alley set version, but still a little bit shorter for that. But at least I kind of tried as much as I did. Starting off from the first floor. Like we wish you have uh, this little sculpture here that's showing uh, puking past past aisles, and of course representing it vomiting uh, as well. And of course, kind of on sticker on there, face for the face, obviously. And also have corner plates put to some good use, and otherwise uh, feel quite good for that. And of course, do have kind of a small cash register section and also a couple of stuff, a couple of things on the sides, and also kind of similar to this, I would that, which kind of similar to what we had in the uh, wizard counseling sec, uh, set that we had uh, last year. But yeah. And of course, one with a uh, curved plate representing a novelty tea or wind up novelty tea. 
and then uh, other side which do you have Nazgulit nugget and also a cylinder piece but in clear and sparkly like we've seen in the last few sets and also uh, fainting by less cities and also a uh, punter arm and also chocolate sphere or a course and also in the center of uh, those recent uh, uh, heart gem pieces but obviously representing love potion 101 and then right above and also you don't get any stairway piece but although specific stairway piece could have worked out for that but maybe that would have taken up a lot of space but yeah or at least make it a, a detachable to do so. But yeah. And on the further, but on the second floor of which, we would do have the cone pieces, but in different colors for the railing. And also do have electric shocks uh, shake in that one uh, plate. And of course, get plenty of bricks with stickers in different colors on them. And also do you get a little part of it that says uh, sticky trainers which on the box cover shows Ron wearing these and sticking sideways which of course and then of course and on one side of which you have one of those recent uh, rock pieces from Lego City but in a nougat coloring and nice to see there and also punked pastelite or pastelites kind of there and also a little printed or I mean yeah it's mostly printed tile piece oh whatever printed tile piece there which kind of interesting to see there over there And also right above, I wish to have some a little uh, bouncing wind-up toy with hair pieces, which kind of similar to what we had with oh yeah to, to what we had with Umbridge a couple of years ago, and of course, but at least kind of interesting seeing that there. But and of course to have a couple of uh, dish pieces down below and. Also, a little bark piece representing it like across a tight rope, but yeah, and also see those like quarter uh, kind of brick pieces there. A nice, good use of those pieces as well. And also, you get in the center a little table kind of part, but with those Technic uh, ball joint pieces, but used as mini cotton candy sheet. Oh, which quite nice, good use of that piece, but yeah. With the main part, one of the main parts of it all is at the end of the instructions, and also kind of on the back box cover, or just instructions. I would say with these pins here, you can like clip them together and kind of together, just like the modulars and obviously the 2020 uh, large Diagon Alley set, and also do that open pins on one side of which so could there be some other parts of Diagon Alley coming down the line but well it's possible but yeah and so now on to the final verdict Overall, I think this is which a this which a really good set for how it is. Like at least kind of even though it's kind of a downsized version of the 2020 Diagon Alley set, but at least it kind of saves you a little bit of money and shelf space. Well, getting it like this, even though we probably don't get any of the other building sets of which, but maybe there'll be other sets of it in next year and so on. But as is which at least good to see some modulability that 
outside of uh, Hogwarts buildings and so on. And as for the minifig selection, quite nice that we got to see all, you know, all of uh, Fred and George in another set, obviously, and also outside of a blind bag minifig series, of course. Although, as for the uh, price for pieces, which, or I mean, as for the price point of the set, uh, quite good for how it is, but as for the owl post part of it, I think quite good for how it is, even though if it were sold separately and be probably be like $30. And if the other part was sold by itself, probably be like $40. So the price of it, so the two together at the price point, which kind of makes good, good sense, but yeah. And aside from that, but also this set does also work out as a good parts pack of like Sand blue, lavender, and orange, but of course, lavender not in a friend's set, but yeah. And if you are looking to get this set for your, uh, for your Lego Harry Potter collection, definitely pick it up. And if you are, don't want to bother with the very large Diagon Alley set and want to sell and save a little bit of space and all, well, definitely pick this set up or definitely get this set, but yeah. And that is about it with this this review. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.